Hi, I'm Danielle Wynn, and I'm a scientist here in Fairfax County. When you think of the word scientist, is this what you think of? People in lab coats looking in microscopes? We're not that type of scientist. We're freshwater ecologists, and our lab is the stream. Come on, guys, let's go. Ready, go. We do most of our work in an environment like this. Let's get to work, ladies. Sure. Let's go. An ecologist looks at the living and non-living components of an ecosystem to determine the health of the stream. Because our streams cannot talk, we use a series of indicators like benthic macroinvertebrates, fish, water chemistry, and habitat assessment to help tell the story of our streams. As freshwater ecologists, we look at all parts of the stream, including one very important part, benthic macroinvertebrates. These are the organisms that live on the bottom of our streams, are large enough to see with your eyes, and lack a backbone. We collect them from the streams in Fairfax County to help tell us the water quality of that stream. Certain benthic macroinvertebrates are sensitive to pollution, while others are more tolerant. If we find a lot of sensitive macroinvertebrates in the stream sample, then we know the stream quality is high. But if we find a lot of tolerant ones or no benthic macroinvertebrates at all, then we know the stream is very polluted and in need of help. Another way we characterize the streams in Fairfax County is by looking at the fish community. We do this through a process called electrofishing, which creates a small electrical current in the water that allows us to easily catch the fish. The types of fish species and number of fish that we find tell us about the stream's quality. Similar to benthic macroinvertebrates, fish can be sensitive or tolerant to pollution. Different fish occupy different habitats within a stream. Some fish live in the slow and deep pools, while others live in the fast-moving riffles, which is why it's important for a stream to have all of these qualities. Water chemistry measures the properties of water that we can't see. We use this meter to test temperature, pH, conductivity, and dissolved oxygen. These properties allow us to assess the condition of the water and understand its effects on the fish and macroinvertebrate populations. A healthy environment has cold water temperatures, a neutral pH of 7, low conductivity, and high dissolved oxygen. What we can see is that we have a healthy forested habitat. These tall trees help to stabilize the stream banks and prevent erosion. They also provide tree canopy for shade and fish habitat. Let's go to another stream. Okay. Yuck, this looks different. After a storm, rainwater is sent to your closest storm drain and then to your local stream. All of that fast-moving water causes erosion and washes away the stream bank. Anything that's on the land can be picked up by the storm and brought here, like trash. Fish like to live underneath tree roots and underneath rocks. They don't want to live inside of grocery bags and behind soda cans. We don't just monitor our streams in Fairfax County, we also look at our lakes. We monitor our lakes to make sure that they are a healthy and balanced ecosystem. I hope you learned a lot about being a freshwater ecologist today. Now we need your help to keep our streams happy and healthy. Simple actions like not littering, picking up after your dog, or planting a tree can help make sure that our streams stay happy and healthy for generations to come. Thanks for watching.